What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another epic figure review for you guys and it is the WWE Elite Series Epic Moments Festival of Friendship, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho Elite playset, I guess you would say. This thing is absolutely amazing. This is the first Epic Moments figure set that we have gotten. We finally got our entrance greats angle, and now we're getting into the Epic Moments line. You know the Hardys are coming soon, and I think the packaging, the way this is packaged, I cannot wait to see what the Hardys look like. But um, it's weird because they didn't put Epic Moments on any part of the packaging, which we'll get into in just a second. But that was the only thing that sort of uh, tripped me out. I expected some sort of, you know, epic moments text or something like that because they do that with the defining moments line and the entrance greats line. So maybe they'll do that in later boxes. But now that we have covered everything, guys, let's get straight into this review. All right, guys, starting out first with the packaging. You have the front viewing window right here. And if you'll notice, it has this nice universal championship sort of plate stretched out window here. Um, you see all the accessories. You got Chris Jericho, Kevin Owens, both title belts. And if you'll notice, they have have the uh, title belt switched. You know, the Universal Champion was Kevin Owens and the United States Champion was Chris Jericho. So they got that flip-flop, so that sucks for mock collectors. But maybe there will be an instance somewhere out there, a rare, just once-in-a-lifetime type deal, where they're actually on the correct person. Not saying it exists, just that would be really cool if it did. It says, Welcome Festival of Friendship. It's like a Las Vegas type deal. I believe this happened in Las Vegas. Uh, it says, best friend, The best friends in WWE history. That sort of sounds weird. Got W WWE logo here. Got some gold trim names right here. On the top, we have Festival of Friendship right there and WWE logo. Um, on the side here, same thing. You got Festival of Friendship with Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho on, over there. And then right here, this is pretty cool. We have some uh, pictures from that night. So you'll see um, all of this stuff right here. Got some different pictures um, of Chris Jericho finding out he's on the list of KO and then KO attacking him and then throwing him into the monitor right there. And here's the back and if you want to read that you can go ahead and pause it now. It just gives you sort of a uh, background on this moment. But you got a picture of Kevin Owens here, a picture of Jericho there. It says Festival of Friendship up there. Not much on the bottom of the packaging. So now that we've covered all of that guys, let's go ahead and crack this box open. How come my name's on this? And here we have Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens out of their Festival of Friendship packaging guys. And they look incredible at first glance. All of the accessories, all of the things that make this playset what it is look incredible. I cannot wait to take a closer look at everything individually. But before we do that, I do have a few gripes um, that I will get into about both figures and accessories. I believe all of the accessories are amazing except for Chris Jericho's hat right here. But um, again, we will cover that and it will be um, in just a few seconds. But I just want to give you guys this setup right here. This is the way the ring looked on that night when their friendship ended. Very sad moment. You know, it was one of the best things WWE had going. But it was an incredible storyline and it captivated at WrestleMania 33. And I totally enjoyed this feud. And Kevin Owens just proves time and time again that um, he is one of the best wrestlers in the world. I even made a video on why he is a top five wrestler in the entire world. Overall, just amazing talent. I love Kevin Owens so much. And Chris Jericho is one of my favorites of all time as well. So just an amazing play set. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figures themselves. All right, guys, getting into the smaller accessories first. The first thing we have right here is the Universal Championship and nothing special. We have seen this quite a few times now, but we do get that. We get another championship belt, and that is the United States Championship. Again, we've had that a hundred times before. Right here, we have the hat that comes with Chris Jericho, and I do like the paint apps and the sculpt on this thing. However, there is one gripe about it. It does not fit on his head well, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes when we get into the Chris Jericho figure. We get a list of KO, and this is the first time, obviously, that we're getting this. We've had the list of Jericho twice with the Elite 53 and the GameStop exclusive Jericho. We get two microphones that are... Um, the same, they have this triangular uh, pod thing that goes around it instead of just the regular square. So we get two of those. We get the pin that goes with the list of KO. 
Um, we have also gotten this with the Elite 53 and GameStop exclusive Jericho. And then the final smaller accessory we have right here is the cream slash white scarf that comes with Jericho. And I believe on that night he wore like a green scarf and a black one, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know exactly why they gave us cream. But, um, yeah, we do get a scarf, so I guess it's better than nothing, but I would have preferred um, the accurate color. But now that we have covered the smaller accessories, guys, let's get into the larger and more exciting ones. All right, guys, getting into the bigger accessories right here. I guess this could have went with the smaller ones, but we do have this trophy right here that um, is gold. It, you know, it's supposed to symbolize the friendship of Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho right here. It is this gold color, and I do like this trophy. I think it's nice. It's like a sheeny plastic type color, and I do like that a lot. Um, it does come with this black display stand that you can use. Um, for probably your GM's office. You could probably use it backstage somewhere. So this is a nice little piece you can use for other things. Next up, we have this uh, painting right here that was at the Festival of Friendship. And I believe this is supposed to be the creation of Adam. And it's like a parody. And it has Chris Jericho here with the U.S. title touching. Kevin Owens there with the Universal Championship. This was hilarious. I love this so much. And it does come with this art display stand right here, which will come in handy as well. Maybe if you're doing like pick feds or something, this will be a cool accessory to have. That is so awesome. And then here is the big thing. It is this big box, big piece of plastic. I'm surprised it's not cardboard or something, but it is very nice. We get the decal there with the Festival of Friendship. Um, you see it has the big red box there. And... Um, I love this so much. I think it's so awesome. You got the monitor on the top, and it does look just like the one from that night. It uh, This, I believe, was red, but it's pretty much the exact same thing. And, of course, this thing does smash, and it falls out just like that. And that is so awesome. So it does break to pieces, and it's very easy to put back together. Let's see if I can do it um, on camera before I finish this portion of the video um, to show you how quick it is. But um, this is probably my favorite accessory, uh, hands down. I think it's just a very nice touch. We get, you know, the monitor. You can slam your uh, figures into it. Um, I hate that it's, you know, uh, so specific, but I think it's really cool. You can relive that moment over and over again, and you see it pieces back together, and you just push it into place on the corners, and it's just like that. So not very hard to do, and I love this so much. I, this is my favorite ex accessory, I would say, because um, you can do so many things. You can smash your figure's faces into this and pick feds and stuff. You can put a green screen over this and blank this out, and you could easily do like a backstage um, interview or anything like that so this is a really cool piece this table and this art stand as well but now that we've covered the accessories guys let's get into the figures themselves all right guys getting into the figures themselves i'm gonna start off with ko because it's pretty negative guys i'm not even gonna lie to you like look at this this is a shaky figure right here. The legs, and I have an idea on why it's like this. I think they gave this figure the Kevin Owens crotch and upper body, and then the legs are like just popped on there. So like uh, the legs are very loose. They're not, um, they didn't create a new mold or anything. So I believe that is why they're so loose. And then my left shoulder for some reason is really loose as well. So I don't know if I just got the bad luck of the draw or if everybody's figures is like this. This hand's loose as well. So that is unfortunate the legs are tight besides this little wobbly stuff but i still like the figure like i dig um the kevin owens in the pants i like the way this figure looks the head scan's nice um we get bare arms for the first time um what does suck though it did not they didn't include his beast tattoo on his hand um that he has in real life they did include his other tattoos though we get this little uh let's see if i can zoom in for you guys right here um you see right there it has his other tattoo and then on this wrist it has his uh I believe it says Karina. Uh, that may be his daughter's name and then his son's name over here. I'm not completely um, positive on that, but that is the Kevin Owens figure. I do like the figure, um, even though it does have those QC issues. He does have kick pad feet, which is accurate. Um, getting into the Chris Jericho figure right here. I don't like this head scan. I would love to do a head swap with the list of Jericho, which I probably will do. But we have this silver button uh, thing over his uh, jacket, over his uh, torso. And it sucks because I believe he wore a black button down underneath this. So I don't know why they didn't throw that in somehow. It would have been really cool if they did that. Um, I do like this silver color, though. I think it pops nicely. Um, where's the hat at? We got to get the hat on there. We got the hat right here. You put that on there, and yeah, it just doesn't fit right. Like, you have to smash it down on his head, but you see um, it does rise up, and it'll fall straight off. So that's unfortunate. Um, it does fit better if you do it backwards. Like, it'll fit on there if you do it backwards like that. 
However, the um, that's not accurate at all. So I don't know how you feel about that. Um, the legs are nice. It's just like black pants. It's supposed to be black pants. We got kick pad feet. And I believe this is um, not like uh, Balor or CM Punk kick pads. This is like Shawn Michaels kick pads, but without that little circle piece at the top. So that is the Chris Jericho figure. I do like the figures, um, but those are just the two gripes I have with the hat and then the uh, loose sort of stuff going on with Kevin Owens. But um, I do like these figures, and um, I am enjoying this playset so far. Alright guys, before we get into the end of the video, I want to go ahead and tell you right now to stay tuned to the end of the video for a special little clip that I put together for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy that. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. I am going to go ahead and say, go over to walkoutwear.com, use the promo code MDT and pick this playset up. I do recommend it. Maybe your Kevin Owens won't have as many issues as mine did. Maybe I just got a bad batch, a bad hand, arm, and legs. Hopefully yours does not come out like that. But um, I think this playset's awesome. Awesome. Nonetheless, you know, you don't have to use this Kevin Owens figure. We have uh, we have plenty of Kevin Owens figures. Um, I am a huge Kevin Owens fan, so I love every figure I get. Uh, maybe I can fix some of these issues, but this is still an awesome figure, even if it does have the loose joints and stuff like that. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed the review or you like these figures, go ahead and hit that like button. Can we get this video to 200 likes? Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a comment down below what you think of this playset. Did you pick it up? Do you like Kevin Owens or Chris Jericho? Let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. How come my name's on this? Oh my God. Kevin Owens is beating the shit out of Chris Jericho. My God. He turned on his best friend, Chris Jericho. Why are you doing this, Kevin Owens? Don't do this. Don't do this. Oh my God. My God. Kevin Owens is on top of the world. Subscribe to My Damn Toys.